going 2-0 and on the weekend and get a great win versus Sacred Heart? It's a great feeling. They've worked so hard all week in practice to fix what we were doing wrong the weekend prior, and I couldn't be more proud of the work and the work ethic that they showed all week in practice to prepare for this weekend. Yesterday was our tempo, our game, and for the first time, we were in system 100% yesterday in one of the sets. That's never happened before. They played with such confidence, and I think FDU was struggling to find their rhythm, and it didn't matter. We didn't wait to sit back. We were just going to keep pushing forward, and they either kept up or they didn't. And fortunately for us, they didn't. Today, Sacred Heart comes in here, strong team, a new team, a lot of freshmen, a lot of talent on the team. So we knew this was going to be uh, a real fight for an hour and a half, two hours out there. But I couldn't, uh, you know, with Veronica, she started off very slow in the match. And we, you know, I said to her, you, in order to win this, we need you. You need to start producing on the court. And it's exactly what she did. So. I think she should just be so happy with the way she responded to that challenge and the whole team, our blocking picked up. And it seemed like at crucial points, we either got a block that we really needed and in the end, Sacred Heart missed a couple of crucial serves. And so they would miss serves. We would do some great things on the court and we started to chip away, chip away, chip away. And then in the end, hey, I guess that's all that matters is who gets, uh, who gets up by two at the end. And that's when we got the lead and, and that's what mattered. What kind of uh, adjustment did you have to make for the, the great player, Dianis, on the opposite side? She's a great player. What, did, what kind of things did you tell your team to do coming into the yeah, game? Yeah, she's a really good player. We have a lot of respect for her. And um, she, you know, all five foot seven of her, is she's the spark plug on their team. And I tell you, we set a neutral block, which means that you're going to take away most of the middle of the court against her. And, you know, she's hard to stop. So we did block her a couple of times. You try to rattle hit her a little bit. And um, we know she's going to get her kills. So we had to try to contain her. And also number two, we had a great blocking scheme against number two. And last play, I knew the ball was going to her. I said to the team, we're going to set our defense. The ball, I was 80% sure <laughs> that the ball was going to go there. And I, and I told them that. I said, they're, they're going to look to set to her. It's exactly what they did. The defense was set and we got the point. So we really, they, the players executed the game plan perfectly. And I was so happy that this was a fight today because it's what we needed to end the weekend was to win a game where we had to fight every point. And we did because Sacred Heart's a great team. Lastly, what is the one thing that you will take over going into next weekend? I tell you, we're going to take our new motto is move it forward. Keep moving it forward. So mistakes happen. We all know that, but we got to move it forward. And we've been practicing at a tempo that is much faster than the game to cause stress for our players, and it really paid off this weekend. And now they're asking for that stress in practice. So I, I you know, they're, they're, we're going to deliver. Let's just put it that way, and they're going to be ready. So it's going to be that team toughness, that mental toughness that we need to take forward into the weekend. I hope they remember this. I know they're not forgetting last weekend, and I think because of last weekend. I think that made us tougher, it made us stronger. And now for them to come out and fight like this, we're gonna take that mental toughness and move forward now.